Hey everyone, this is Max the Catfish, and today we are in the MTC Laboratory. I am going to run through a really quick tutorial of how to automate the generation of coupons from the resource sink without any manual interaction and without running out of resources from your storage bins. Let's jump right in. So if you've been building a base in the experimental version of Satisfactory with Update 3, you probably have one of these. This is just a storage container that contains a bunch of resources, probably contains, uh, like this one does, uh, a bunch of concrete that you go to and you take concrete out to build out some, I don't know, some roof to your base, for instance. But one of the issues that a lot of people run into in, in this game is once your storage container fills up, you stop generating resources and you lose out on a lot of potential benefit of the generation of resources while you're off automating other portions of your factory. So if we simply run a conveyor belt line of a tier one conveyor belt into the awesome sink, what you get is a flow through of 60 resources per minute from your storage bin into your awesome sink. And that's great. But if you don't produce more than 60 resources, this storage box is going to run out. We are going to use splitters in this case to reduce the outflow of resources from our storage bin. So what we can do is we can set up a quick splitter here in line between our storage bin and our and our awesome sink. And we can hook this up with our, our T1 conveyor belt. I recommend tier one unless you're producing more than 120 resources. You can use tier two if you'd like to. And on this side of our belt, we are going to add a merger. That merges the resources that we're producing and is also going to merge in the resources that do not go to the awesome sink. So if we set up a conveyor belt like this to merge these resources back and a conveyor belt like this, now what we've done is we have changed this outflow from our storage bin into the resource sink from 60 resources a minute to 30 resources a minute. In addition, we have to increase the speed of our income conveyor belt from 60 to 120. Otherwise, what we have is infinite 30 resources going along this line and 30 resources going in here. Our storage bin never actually fills up. So these two things are very important if you want this to work properly. The first is you have to produce more resources than you send to the awesome sink. So this works and our storage container fills up with resources because we are producing more resources on our production line than we are sending to the awesome sink. And the second is the input into our storage needs to be one belt tier higher than the output out of our storage. So this is a tier one belt that's producing 60 resources per minute. This is a tier two belt that is refilling our storage bin at the rate of 120 resources per minute. Make sense? Now, when we're talking about motors, you're probably producing 10 to 15 motors a minute. Uh, that is not as many as we are sending to our, our, our sink right now. Right now we're sending 30 motors a minute to our sink. And we have to dial that outflow down a little bit. And in order to do that, we can add very quickly onto this setup uh, additional splitters and additional mergers to make that work. So uh, the way that I've seen this work in just the, the smallest amount of space possible is we can add a new merger on top of our splitter. And we can add conveyor lifts up to that merger. And a quick conveyor lift up off of this merger. And connect them up like this. And now what we're getting, instead of half of our resources going to the box and half of our resources going to the awesome sink, we now have 20 resources going to the awesome sink and 40 resources, two thirds of the splitter going back into the box. So if we produced let's say 21 resources per minute of a particular type, then we could use this setup here, which is really quick and compact in order to always be producing and sending excess resources to the awesome sink, but always keeping full the storage containers we have around the world. The next thing we can do, let's say we produce even less than 21. Let's say we produce eight resources of a particular type per minute. It's very simple. All we do is we add one more splitter after our original splitter, we add one more merger up top and connect these together. And then we add our conveyor lifts again. 
So now what we're getting is 20 resources come out of this splitter and onto this line. 10 resources go to the awesome sink and 10 resources get merged back into our box. And what we can do is add another conveyor belt. And now 6.66 .66 resources per minute come across this line. 6.6 .6 on this one and 6.6 .6 on this one so we can produce as few as 6.6 .6 resources per minute from our original production line and we will ensure two things our storage box is always full and we are always sending excess goods to the awesome sink alternatively if you want a bit of a flatter build you can design it like this uh, this is providing the exact same throughput as our previous example and from this angle you can see the absolute best part of this build that is at the moment that the box fills up the flow rate of resources to the awesome sink increases so you never have to touch anything it automatically increases the flow and you're going to be earning more coupons per minute you can set this up for stuff like plates and rods and concrete and copper plating, all of these things that you normally produce very high quantities of. And at this flow rate, the other thing you can do is using a single awesome sink, you can use a merger here and merge onto this the products of other storage bins and other setups like this. So this will allow us, for instance, to have another storage container producing some kind of resource and sending it to the awesome sink. This is one of many ways to automatically feed your awesome sink, but I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments how you're doing it today. Otherwise, for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, you can check out our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash maxthecatfish, where we're live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, playing games like Satisfactory and Solaris, Oxygen Not Included, and others. So come check us out. I will see you guys on stream or in our next video. See you soon.